Today we are going to be talking about the influence node inside of MASH. This is going to be a pretty short node. Uh, there's not um, much to it, uh, but it does give a pretty interesting look. So let's quickly get into it. So I'm going to start off with a default primitive like a cube. Let's quickly go to our MASH menu and let's click on MASH. All right, so let's go to our attributes. And in the distribute, what I'm going to do is change this to grid and uh, let's maybe make it 12 and 12 and let's increase this to uh pretty reasonable let's make it 12 by 12 let's turn off the grid all right so this is what we have uh a distribution type set to grid and we have 12 instances on the x and the z axis now what uh, um, node that we are going to what influence does actually is basically it creates object and, and all the other objects are going to be influenced by that uh, particular object so what uh, node is basically doing it's it's inheriting whatever this particular node is about to or whatever particular object or whatever it is that it's going to do like for example if it's going to change a the scale then all the instances are going to change their scale with it but in a much um, uh, intelligent way you can say so whatever the instancer does or uh, influences the other instances so for example like we have this influence node I'm gonna uh, click on add influence node and you'll notice that uh, something happens by default you get this mash influence locator so influencer automatically creates this locator which you'll notice right in the center and what influence is basically doing wherever this particular locator is going to be it's going to influence the most of those instancer so if i select this and hit w and if i move this you'll notice how the cubes or the instances are behaving if i move this around you'll notice how the cubes are reacting to it not only this if i rotate this you'll notice the cube will rotate as well if i scale this you'll notice that the instances are being scaled as well so uh influence node is basically cre creating this default locator which is going to influence everything it's creating this fall off to go along with it all right so the way to control this is if you go back to your mash and then you have the influence here so the first thing that you have is the influence power which basically determines how much powerful this influence is going to be how much uh, powerfully it's going to affect your inst instances so if i increase this value you'll notice that we are getting more power value towards the uh, locator i'm gonna make it an influence power of six and i can change the amount of influence radius so consider this as an invisible fall off which is completely changing as we are increasing and decreasing the number you can also change the strength of how much strength is going to affect and you can also change this is actually one of my favorite values in the influencer node which is the random strength if i decrease this you'll notice that it's changing how it's uh, the randomization it's changing the randomization values of how it's affecting the instances so if i uh, influence if i turn up the influence radius to a maximum 100 you'll notice that everything sums up and if i select my influencer and move them around you'll notice that you do get a scalar value change but the interesting thing about this is you can use the influencer node to create let's say you have model a very small city building or three four buildings and you just add up into your mash and give them the id node and then if you use the influence you can create a mega structure of how this is going to look you can change the scale of it and then you'll have this randomized uh, city look and how you can uh, turn them around you can rotate them how you like it and uh, so on and you can move them around and if you want more taller buildings on the middle of your uh, center of this scene or your grid you can change the strength of it you can also decrease the radius and that way you'll get much more uh, room for your centerpiece now what you can also do is uh, you have the option to uh, you change the step strength you'll notice that you can uh, increase the step value and how it's going to affect your uh, the step by step value of your strength and you can also choose vertex which will just fill up the whole thing and i'm gonna just turn this up just so you can see this and let's increase the power all right i'm not so i'm gonna increase this and i'm just gonna try to show you how this what vertex is basically it kind of expands the whole uh, area of this so i'm just trying to get us uh, get to a certain value where it can show you uh how this is pretty much behaving so i'm gonna just select this i'm gonna scale this really really down 
and let's see if this works and yeah so now you can get to see a little bit of vortex working on this so it basically uh, you can see expanding and decreasing of the area of how this vortex is affecting your influences all right you can also change the values of your scale if you don't want to affect the scale only the position or the rotation you can do that you can change the enable transform uh, translate or translate z any particular value if you want so there are a lot of different ways that you can manipulate this and uh, handle this around so again uh, it's really fun node uh, there's not much to it but uh, there's definitely room to play around with it now the other thing that you can also do with uh, influences let's say you have this locator i'm gonna put this right over here and for the demonstration i'm gonna just uh, turn the randomness to something like this all right and i'm also gonna change this cube to look something like this okay so i have this influencer and i'm gonna put it right about here okay and uh, what we get with the influencer is you'll notice that we only get one default locator but you can also choose to add a primitive as your uh, locator as well so if you mm, take another primitive like for example for our uh, instance we have this cylinder i'm gonna middle mouse click and drop it here so you have the cylinder in your transform as well now if i select this cylinder and if i move this you'll notice that this acts as an influencer as well so now you have two influences uh working towards your instances and if i let's say if i delete this and you'll notice that we get back to, uh, it goes back to having this just one influence you can take another locator if that helps uh, having a scene with locators just to clarify the whole thing that yes the scene is being controlled by the locators uh, so you'll notice that since i ch initially changed the scale value of this locator it also changes the value of your cubes so since we have our two uh, controllers now for our instances if i select one and if i rotate this towards this and if i select this and rotate this towards the opposite now we have this greater control of uh, our animation how we can animate this and uh, so on so you, we can keep this in the middle we can rotate this even more we can scale this really really down and we can rotate this so now you'll get a value of like this you can use this to animate a scale uh, animation on top of a snake and uh, something like to create a tile animation if you are uh, want to create some abstract with it you can take more locator and you can add more influences as well and you can use that locator and then again rotate it in the middle or like scale it down how you want to take it maybe you go back to mash and maybe just change the influence value or change the randomized value and you can also change the strength and there you go so now you can just move them around and now you'll have something like this so pretty interesting uh, so yeah few options but a lot to play around so feel free to dig around how you can uh, add influence in your scene and create something amazing with it so there are a lot to uh, work with influence you just have to get around what uh, animation you can get your hands on with this particular node so have fun if you have any question or doubt feel free to uh, post in the comment section and uh, that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video